Hello, I'm Simon Gray from the Food Teacher Centre. I'm down in Loo today on the quayside on this fabulous Sunday in October. I've been invited down to have a look at some of the amazing Cornish fish. And uh, Rob, the fishmonger from Pengalis, has filleted all the fish. And now I'm going to cook it up. I've got that honour of working some really top-notch fresh fish. The first dish I'm going to do is with the megram that Rob filleted earlier. Megram is fantastic firm flesh, really nice and meaty. And what we're going to do, we're going to use this fish and I'm going to poach it with some mushrooms, some white wine, some stock, and I'm going to serve it up with some asparagus, some new potatoes and some spinach. A really nice simple dish that you can do at home or in schools and the students can do this in schools as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I've got my pan heating up here so it gets nice and hot. And I'm going to put in around about 175 millilitres of stock and around about 175 millilitres of a nice Pinot Grigier. Okay, so I'm going to leave that just to cook and reduce down a little bit to intensify the flavours. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some button mushrooms. So I've taken some button mushrooms, I've wiped them free and I've sliced them nice and thinly. And we're going to cook that in the stock as well. You want about 100 grams of button mushrooms. You see there, they're nice and fine, nice and finely cut. Okay, so, and again, you don't have to weigh anything. You just put it in by eye. I'd say that's around about 100 grams and I'm going to leave that with a lid on slightly ajar just to reduce down. We've got a little bit of wind coming off this sea there so I need to put the lid on there just to get the heat in the pan. Okay. So this is reduced down quite a little bit now and what I'm going to do carefully just turn the heat down a little bit so I don't scald my hands. I've got the megram here, you can see it's really nice uh, quarter fillet, so Rob took it off a whole fillet and I've just cut that down the middle there. We've got the thin end there and so what I'm going to do is just fold it back on the thin end so the thin end doesn't cook too quickly and flake away and then I'm going to pop it away from myself into the pan so it doesn't splash me and the same with this one, yeah so that's the inside, that's the presentation side. Yeah, that's the, the flesh bit that goes up. That's where the skin's gone. You can see the dark brown where the skin's been. So I'm just going to fold that over as well and pop that in away from me. And we're going to poach that in the wine and the stock with the mushrooms. And we're going to leave that for about four or five minutes. That's all. Fish is really delicate to cook. Okay, it doesn't take a long time. The sharp muscle fibers in there. So it doesn't take a lot of breaking down. Okay. So it's just going to pop the lid on there and that steam will cook through and it will poach that fish. While that's poaching, I've got the garnish. So I've got some asparagus here. You don't have to have the asparagus. You can have some green beans. It's a little bit extravagant today. I'm in loo, sun shining. I'm going to treat everybody to a bit of asparagus. I've got some spinach here. Now, believe it or not, this is a whole bag of spinach. This is what you can get from uh, your greengrocer just ask them for some um, leaf, spinach leaf and you just put that into a pan with probably about four tablespoons of water, pop the lid on and you sweat it down, squeeze all the water out of it and then you're left with the reduced spinach there. Okay, so we're going to put that on the base of the plate and we're going to sit our megram on top of this just to give it a little bit of height. I've also got some new potatoes so the new potatoes i've steamed these nice and healthy yeah and then i've just cut them into little slices we're going to warm those through and pop them onto the plate when we start to serve i'm going to heat that up warm it through in the pan here so i'm just going to pop that on get some heat into it and as I said, a little bit of decadence. We're going to use some butter. Day local, use nice Cornish butter if you can. Goes well with a nice Cornish fish. Okay, so that's going to melt down. And we're going to pop in the spinach there just to warm through. Okay, 
It's been cooked, it's been blanched, that's got the nice vibrant green colour on it and we're just going to leave that just to warm through. Okay, so I'm going to check my fish now. Oh, it's nearly there, you can see. They're starting to become opaque. I'm just going to touch that, be careful with the heat. And you can see that it's starting to cook all the way through. I think another two minutes on that fish and we'll be there. I say cooking on the quayside with the wind, I've got to take that into account with the heat, okay? But at home in your kitchen, you can do that. You haven't got the wind going in there, so just be careful you don't overcook it. So my spinach now is all ready to give it stir. As you can see, it's heating up. Okay, so that's warming through. Just going to put that to one side of the pan. And I'm going to pop in my asparagus in there to warm through as well. One pot wonder here. So I've got my fish cooking over there. I've got my garnishes in the one pan, just warming through because they're all cooked already. So you can do all this preparation beforehand. Pop it in the fridge and when you're ready to cook, you're just putting it together, you're assembling it. Right, I think we're there with the fish. Just gonna check it. Okay, it should be nice and opaque all the way through. Yeah, you don't wanna overcook it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my fish out. Just put that to one side for a second. Now I'm going to reduce this right down because I'm going to make the finishing sauce from this, this liquid. So you've got your stock in there, you've got mushrooms in there, and you've got a little bit of white wine. That's reducing down. And I'm going to finish it off with some creme fraiche. Okay, the creme fraiche, a little bit healthier than double cream. You can use double cream uh, to do the same thing. But I find that creme fraiche is the healthier alternative. You haven't got as much fat in it. You want to reduce this around about two thirds, so you've got a third left. So you're bringing it all the way down, you're evaporating all that liquid and you're intensifying the flavour as well. So that's why we do reduce. So you can get fish stock from your fishmongers. They <coughs> often uh, make it themselves from the white fish bones, from the flat fish bones. It only takes 20 minutes if you want to make it yourself. Just uh, have a look at the seafood guide there. I'm sure there's uh, a recipe for stock on there. So go to Cornwall Good Seafood Guide. Lots of recipes on there as well. Lots of local fish. Tells you what's in season, what's good to eat, and what's sustainable, which is really important. You've got all this beautiful fish in the Cornish waters. We need to start eating it. And the megram is one of those fish that you can use that is not that expensive. It's an affordable fish. So for that fish, it's around about four pounds, and that's gonna feed two adults, four kids, okay? If you don't wanna put wine in for the food with the kids, what you can do is use a juice, an apple juice or a clear juice like so, and reduce that down. That will give it a little bit of flavor as well, okay? So I think that's about ready. I'm going to pop in now the creme fraiche. I'm just going to leave that to bubble away a little bit. And I'm going to start plating up the dish now. We're going to start with the potatoes. We're going to pop those on our plate. A little bit of spinach in the middle. And take some asparagus. Now I'm going to take my fish, just pop that on top like so, and I'm going to give my plate a little wipe there before I put the sauce on. Put that around the plate. There you are. So what we've got here, we have poached megram on a bed of wilted buttered spinach garnished with asparagus and baby new potatoes. <laughs>